Hello fellow YouTubers, and welcome back to Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. In the last episode, we were all the way at the at the uh, Beaming Castle, where we found out that... Were we at the Beaming Castle? Yeah, we were there. Where we found out that Bowletta and Princess Peach are apparently at Joke's End, which we are currently at. So, we stopped by the shops in the Castle Town, and we stopped by the shops in Little Fungi Town to update our little equipment. And then we headed over to the Hammerhead Bros, where they upgraded our hammers for us to the highest degree. We also got a new bros move for Luigi, which we still have not seen yet. And we surfed our way all the way over to Joke's End, where we met where we met Jojora. I'm going to do this quickly. Where we met Jojora and gave us a word of caution that this place is going to be apparently very difficult. And from first-hand experience, I know it is very difficult. Oh, hello! First enemy! Up, oh. up. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. These, I oh, thank God they both attacked Mario. Whoa, these guys are difficult. I think Mario can actually take care of the. Ooh, that's what. What am I doing? Can take care of them pretty easily with his hand. Yes, he can. Not. Ex I don't. I don't want to try. Anyway, these enemies. <laughs> these enemies are called. I have their information up. Let me just get their information. Glurp. <laughs> Glurps. Let's see. Okay. I can use Mar Luigi's hand, and I'll still be effective. Uh, not if I screwed up. And he's going to duplicate himself, isn't he? That just gives me more opportunities to miss. Oh, God. Oh, new one gets to attack. I need to defeat them both. There we go. I want to see how much experience I get for defeating them both without getting hit. 420. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> let me get this straight. That number is funny to me because it, I, I don't... I Okay, let me just say this. I don't smoke. I've never smoked. Not even that. I don't even drink, and I'm 22. But I just find that funny because of the ironicness that seems to be happening. And because... I just like it when people go, like, extremely ironic with that number. Like, have you ever seen a montage parody before? Anyway, anyway let's talk about that after this fight. No! Luigi's gonna get hit. Oop. Alright, so these, well, after the Glurp attacks us. Oop. One, one word of advice that you give you, never jump on a Glurp. Because they're very, they're very resistant to jumps. Anyway, this guy is... I can just move these around a little bit. This is an ice sniffit. Can't is he? I'm trying to see if they're weakened to fire. Okay, they are weakened to fire, but they could possibly leave. So let's not do that. Let's actually show off Luigi's new ability. We take care of one of these guys. So Luigi now gets, oop, Luigi now gets this. Oh God, look at that, eight? Luigi gets this ability, Cyclone Bros. So we're gonna attack this Ice Sniffit. Let's see, B. Oh, okay, I remember this one. Continuously tap A and that'll spin Mario around. And you can use the directional pad to change enemies if you want. Oop. So, okay, that one's a lot easier to remember than Swing Bros. I think I use that one a lot too. Just because that it can attack multiple enemies. Right, so let's uh let's just use the hand on Glurp. And let's just jump on it. There we go. Anyway, like I was saying, I, I I find the 420 thing hilarious from a ironic sense in that a lot of I like I like it when people parody for the 420 thing. Like like montage parodies. I I have I I love montage parodies just because they're so they're so hilarious and overdone. <laughs> I, I just find that entire thing funny. And so whenever I see that number, I don't think of the stupid the stupidity around it. I just think of the montage parodies and how I like them. Let's see. Come on. There's a cycle in here that we have to try and that we have to kind of play with. So we gotta do this, go back in the cyclone. It's gonna follow us a little bit. 
Let's continue going across. And we should... I, I, I don't know when we can... Uh, probably right now. There we go. So hey, here's the Monty Mole. So, Monty Moles, whenever you get to one, will usually give you some pretty good and pretty rare items. For example, he gave us some red pepper and green peppers, which are some things that we technically had, we just didn't really use. So, red peppers, for instance, boost our POW, but they also give us some more weight. Kind of like those those one-ton things, like that one-ton status effect that happened when we fought Kekleta. But it, our POW would be boosted so we could do more damage. Our green peppers boost our defense, and we get lighter, so we can probably... I think we can probably jump higher or dodge attacks a lot quicker than that. Or, 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 or I think maybe if a brother gets KO'd, they, uh, they're, they are not that hard to carry. But, let's go the other way. We're only at the beginning. We, we, we've only... We've only... We've only we've, we moved one room across, and it's already been six minutes. There is a glurp here. I know there's a glurp here. Or maybe not. Oh, I wanted to jump on this head. And Mario levels up to level 33. Where is my book? I haven't used my book in a while. <laughs> it's been, a, it's been uh, all these episodes of not leveling up have been a joy. All these episodes of not fighting have been a joy. Let's see. God, their stash is getting higher and higher. I'm not even trying to level up their stash anymore. What was that leveling up Mario for? Oh yeah, HP to 80. That's the stat. Pretty sure his HP might already be 80, I think. No, because he doesn't have any stat bonuses on HP. Luigi's gonna level up as well. What should I give Luigi? Hmm. His speed is starting to fall behind a little bit. That should help. So, we need to continue going through this area. Oh, we'll make it over there. Although this entire area is going to be populated with enemies very soon. But here's a map of this area. And this is a long dungeon. So, <laughs> I, I think I think the first time playing this game, I hated this dungeon. I think I still might hate this dungeon. But, uh, <laughs> that's all I can really say. Uh, but as you see right here, there is a room that's technically underneath this room. Not to mention that we have to try and get over here. That's the goal. Which means we have to go through this right here before we can probably get to that. And we've already been in these rooms right here. This is by far the biggest room in this entire area. There's a glurp. Now oh, I want to jump on him. Go away. Oop. So, as you see right here, we have another new enemy. This one is called a Clump. Yeah, these enemy names in this area sound like someone's coughing. Anyway, as you notice, this guy is pretty big. He's also incredibly difficult because he has such high HP. Oh, and then I screwed up. Yeah, good job, me. Let's, no, yeah, let's Cyclone Bros. Well, that, I, I probably should have. I probably should have Cyclone Bros, not Knockback Bros. Oop. So I, 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 I'm focused. You focus on the clumps first because they can do a lot of damage, and they can damage both Bros at the same. Ah, what am I doing? Solo hand attacks for Glurps. I feel like I'm coughing whenever I say one of their names. There we go. Oh, if I keep on getting experience like that, I should level up in no time. See, there's some soup right here. Any more enemies? I feel like there is. Bean! Get that, let's go over here. Really, it was only the one glurp? Oh, oh, oh. Get this box. Oh, why? Why these boxes take so long? At least I don't think there's any boxes in the sequels that take this long. I'm trying to think of any box that might be just like this in Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. I can't remember if any boxes are like this in Bowser's Inside Story. I know there's no boxes like this in Dream Team. All very fun games. If you notice right here, 
Well, it is soup. I was making a joke that it was soup. <laughs> so that is soup. Do not boil is what the sign says. So let's knock down this wall. Goodbye, wall. Because we can actually go this way. Uh, we got another new enemy right here. These ones are called Scaratroopies. We've already... We've already experienced... We've experienced a lot of these enemies, have we? The flying bean koopa of this area. Anyway... Come on, let's get rid of a clump. Oh, I can't get the chop bros right. Alright, cyclone blows for the fun of it. I don't know how many attacks this would... I think it's, I think I get five attacks. And it wasn't enough. Oop, let's jump over that. Oop. He's gonna heal them all. Ugh. Let me just use the Splash Bros. Oh, you know what? I should have... Oh, I missed it. I missed it anyway. Um... Let me get rid of you. Ah, yeah. At least he's on the ground. Oh, jump over that. Oh, I was way too early for that. And now I just got hit. Great. Now I know why I hate Joke's End. I suck. I suck all the time and jokes in. At least give me this. Give me the satisfaction of KOing him in one hit. No! I'm not gonna get double experience in this fight, and it's only because I lost one HP. <laughs> Hello. You seem pretty cold. Why are you even here? Seems very odd that you'd be even be here. Hello, map. Let's look at the map again. So we got this big area over here. We got a slightly smaller area over here. We need to head up. I think we've already entered that room right there. We need to, I think, go... Up here, I think? Or it's that room right there. Either way, we need to somehow get over to that room like I stated before. And we're not going to end off with this episode until we get over there. There we go. <laughs> we finally got someone. Oh, crap. I got more experience fighting enemies on Guajar Lagoon. Why is this taking so... Why is this so hard? Finally a battle that went well. Oh, got more of these enemies. There we go. Another battle that went well. All right, let's spin over here. Because we want to enter this door right here. Because there's no way that we can make this jump right here. Unless there's a whirlpool, a whirlwind somewhere. As you see, we're gonna have to go past this. It's been a while since we actually did this, hasn't it? No, I got stuck! Still playing. Oh, got stuck again. Go, 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 go. Right, side, side, side. Go! Yay! So if you really want to, you can go back that way. I mean, if you feel like you're not up to it, you can go back that way. Let's go this way. No! I, I almost made it. it. This not make this a repeat of what happened at Guajar Lagoon. Oh, thank God. There's we go. There we go. As you see, this one's going very fast. What you have to do is run! Oh, crap. Run! There we go. And another one of these. Oh, of course, this one stops. Oh, I screwed up. Oh, thank God. I did that right. <laughs> As you see, you have to redo it at one point, and you need to time it correctly. 
So you can redo it at one point. A lot of boxes in this room. I think I now have enough hoo beans to do something. Let's continue going on. Because now we opened up... Oh, we're going to have to climb all the way back up here, aren't we? At least we don't have to do that roly-poly section again. But now we get to go downstairs. Any boxes in here? Just this one right here. Oh, that's the exit to the next area, isn't it? Isn't it? No, it isn't. I forgot what this area is for, though. It certainly isn't where we're supposed to be going, I think. Oop. At least not to my memory. Oh, it's this. One of these blocks. <laughs> well, we haven't exactly done any of these blocks. And we don't ha have any reason really to do any. This direction is where we wanted to go, though. Get these blocks. Another who bean. Two who beans. Because there's this right here. Not how you switch brothers. Yum. Soup. Even though I was joking that it's soup. You know, I'm pretty sure every single bad joke I did, I have done, came here. And I'm surprised that the soup joke actually worked. That was probably the last, the one that notified me that all my bad jokes went here. Because if the name isn't apparent, this is where all bad jokes go to die. Jokes end. But, like that guy with the binoculars or telescope out there said, if you add a whirlwind effect to hot air, you will create a whirlwind. So... There is our whirlwind effect. We just need to get back upstairs now. I think we could probably just keep this. I didn't hear him say spin, so I thought something broke. I don't want anything to break. I'm getting very close to the end of the game. Spin to that, and across we go. And take that, Jajora. So, oh, glurp. All right now that glurp's gone. Oh, another glurp! And Mario levels up to level 34. I did not expect that last glurp to actually level us up. Look at that. Are any of these stats going to actually appear to hit 9 100? Looks like Stash is getting very close to. Let's level up Mario's HP. Oh, if only I would have gotten a 5. Luigi also levels up to level 34, and let's give Luigi some... I think Luigi's HP... Or Mario's HP is now 10 more than Luigi's. Let's give Luigi some HP help. Oh, come on! At least give him a 5! But, is that all the glurps? Is that everything? There we go. We're gonna save the game right here. Because we are, I think, officially halfway through this area now. And even though that first episode made it seem like it's not that long, this next section... Oh, well, I guess we can say third, then. This next section is very long. Is there a map here? No, there isn't. Anyway, on the next episode of Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, the fun begins. So until next time, hopefully you enjoy. Ah, I don't think there's any fodder in this one. As far as my memory can tell, there's no fodder. Just about what is going on? What was I doing? But yeah, there is... I, I think I was just saving it for that realm. I mean, for the Artisan world. I just know there was no fodder in the in Toasty. As far as I can tell, I don't think there was any fodder in Dr. Shep. Oh, there's Blowhard up there. And I will say...